Lucky you found this place. Rowan Brown knew about this place for a while. We figured sacred ground always makes good sanctuary. It's pretty damp, though. It's still a work in progress, all right? We've managed to stay under the radar so far. With all of you, our people, a bunch of Skeltech employees. I don't think you've got room to complain. Hey, I'm not complaining. This place is great. You take care of your people like a good NCO. They're their own people. We've no leaders here. Even so, I guess most people do look to me. Probably what Uncle Sam saw in you, I'd bet. Where'd you serve? 26 Expeditionary. I was infantry in Liberia and the Balkans. UN support off the Somali coast. The NCO pension didn't suit you? I got tired of fighting over oil. So when the good old U.S. of A stopped pretending we had any other purpose, so did I. Served out the rest of my enlistment and decided to stay. If I was you, I would have left the island when Skeltech moved in. Skell wasn't so bad at the start. Until he made killer drones and turned the island into an exclusion zone. Obviously. Yeah, technology can be a pain in the ass. Yep. How's it feel having Skell here? He's just a person. Granted, not exactly my kind of people. Part of me is disappointed. The man can talk. Even had me starting to believe he was different. But then came the drones. Then came the drones. I wonder how many times in his career he's claimed more credit than he deserved. Now all he wants to do is give it away. Okay. Hopefully he makes himself useful. Time will tell. In the meantime, I'll talk with Fox instead. Fair enough. I'm sorry about those folks who died trying to make it to the Wasp. Appreciate you saying so, I guess. I ain't left Aroa since I decided to stay. Most of us are homesteading here. We made a point of cutting ourselves off from everything. Small price to pay for paradise. Once. But now we can't leave. So you pay a higher price to take it back? Maybe. But these people aren't warriors. Whatever survived, I get the feeling it wouldn't be the same. Aroa'd be ruined. Just another place where people died. A lot of new faces around. Yours included. It's good of you. Sharing your food, patching us up, and, uh... Giving us a place to rest. I know it must be a strain. Something on your mind? I'm wondering... How long is this place gonna be a secret? You think I haven't thought of that? Or what happens if one of these victims turns out to be a sentinel soldier? I owe my people. I know that. I'll do whatever I have to to protect them first, last, and only if it comes to that. I get it. But first you have to survive. How come you didn't mention the outcasts before? Outcasts? Hmm. <laughs> They're just disgruntled Skeltech folks having an attack of conscience. They mostly just make noise, loud protests and theatrics. Haven't you got an enemy in common? Whatever Skell does to the rest of the world's got nothing to do with us. And if the outcasts have something they want to atone for, that's their business. We were here before all of them, and we'll be here after. It'd be a pretty island, without all the military contractors and killer drones. Used to be. I'd get some leave and just walk. I'd spend whole weeks just walking around with a pack on my shoulder. Yeah, I'm probably getting my share of sightseeing. These islands have changed hands so much it's like a time capsule. I keep telling myself one day I'll get back out there, just see it all again before I'm too old to make the trip. Then again, who knows how far I'd get now. So what happened here? What didn't happen? Skeltech. It's utopia. This place was paradise before they showed up with their toys. Come on, digging in the dirt, worrying if you're gonna have a good crop, weathering hurricanes without any infrastructure? That's paradise? It was ours. It meant something. These people came here and brought the devil with them. People always bring the devil with them. Those people out there, they brought a few extra and they can have them. We're gonna weather the storm here. 
So, you've got your people, but screw the rest of them. I got enough people to think about. Is living in a cave your idea of homesteading? With Sentinel stomping through the wild, we needed someplace off-grid. Wasn't always like this, you know. Used to be better. Yeah? Sure. Even with scale and everything. Won't say it was like we were swapping recipes and PTA carpooling, but we got along. There was respect. Things took a turn after the bombing, though. Got bad, huh? Started with the curfews and checkpoints. Sentinel soldiers beating people, snatching them up. It's like some kind of nightmare. We had to run. We ain't cut out to fight a war. And the tighter Sentinel's grip got, the worse it got. We're simple people. But we're living like vermin, and these soldiers are hunting us down. We hide here, and we make the best of it. I've seen this before. Too many times. I'm sure you have. How are Fox and Harmony holding up? Bit of a miracle they made it this far. That man couldn't find his nose without a mirror. He took a big chance trying to get off the island. And he's got a kid to think about. Things go south, he can't take care of himself, let alone her. Nobody does it alone. No, you're right. I've known Fox and Harmony for a little while. I just worry about them. They know they have a home here with us. Maybe you need to remind Fox. Put him at ease. Yeah. Mads, what do your people know about the wolves? They don't seem to fit into Sentinel so well. They're all sons of bitches. Yeah, but I don't get the chain of command. Trey Stone runs Sentinel. His men ain't always the cream of the crop. The wolves are Walker's troops. Now they scare me. They're motivated, well-trained, and efficient. I've seen that firsthand. Gossip is that Stone and Walker don't really get along. I don't think Walker's the play well with others type. You have no idea. Between Stone, Walker, and Paula Madeira, Jay Skell doesn't seem that good at keeping friends. Nope. I guess a rich guy like that, a big tech boss, everybody must be wanting something from him. Maybe. But if folks keep turning on you, sooner or later you gotta ask yourself what part you played. Nah, he got used. Dr. Madeira seems to feel like she's the one got used. She's an engineer, so she's not a doctor. Does that mean she's wrong? I guess not. I'll tell you, AI is running too much out there. When people started putting it all over their homes, that Internet of Things crap, that's when all doubt about homesteading left my mind. We're only two steps away from letting AI make all the big decisions. Who do you think is making all them micro-trades that move the stock market up and down? Who do you think decides if you get that home loan? Who analyzes all the population data that decides government policy? You've thought about... Maybe you should think about it more. How much AI are you carrying onto the battlefield? I don't get how the drones aren't seeing you here. Well, that's all Jericho. Set up special nets at the openings that hide us from the sensors. Cave walls, take care of the rest. It's a little smarter than I am, so I'll let you ask her if you need more technical details. Yeah, thanks. You don't look like Skeltech employees. No. I used to be a Marine at the naval station here. Some of the folks you see, like Maria, my old lady, they lived on the station with their families. When the Navy shut the place down in the 90s, a few of us stayed and homesteaded. We worked a long time to make a place for ourselves on Aroa. And now you're in Sentinel's way. Most of my people are holing up here for now. I ain't been home in a dog's age, but I'll stand by any man or woman in green. You soldiers can stay as long as you don't cause trouble. And you lend a hand. We appreciate it. Mads. Fox got some video footage from inside Skeltech. Who's sending him videos? He's cagey about that. But the footage was of Trey Stone and his captains. He ordered him to come after the homesteaders. You're nothing but good news, ain't you? What have we ever done to Stone and his goons? Remember how I asked you to lend a hand? I was serious about that. Seems more important than ever. Come by often, always work to be done. 
I ain't a rich man, but I'll give you gear for your troubles. I will. Don't worry. How do you fit into this whole Skelltech design? I was the head of the Civic Engineering Department. Guess you could say I resigned over creative differences regarding Titan. So you had something to do with designing the infrastructure here on Aroa? Sort of. I build on top of what the New Zealand and US military started. Every culture has to do that. Build on top of existing infrastructure. The older the culture, the more infrastructure is already in place, the harder it is to modernize. That's why Europe is such a mess. Why not just tear it up and start over? Once you build something, like roads, you don't want to unbuild them. Plus, Skell wanted to keep all the existing structures in place as a way to preserve the island. That seems like a pain in the ass. I don't mind a challenge. That's what makes me so good at what I do. So I guess your roads are going to be a problem for the next person that comes here to design infrastructure. I doubt it. By the time my roads need to be reworked, people will be flying around Aroa on jetpacks. All of these drones must use a massive amount of power. We use more electricity than most third world countries. So if we pull the plug, we can shut the whole operation down. There's no plug. The whole island is powered by a diverse renewable power grid. There are multiple power sources and no one source powers everything. And all the power sources are renewable. None of them need fuel. So you built a lethal drone army and gave it unlimited power. No one thought that might be a problem. Skell insisted our power came from environmentally friendly sources. We have the cleanest power grid on Earth, also the most expensive. Maybe people like you are the reason Skell had to build his utopia way out here in the middle of nowhere. How many of these renewable power sources are there? There's a massive solar panel farm outside Liberty and wind turbines on the west coast. There are also two oceanic geothermal plants in the channels between the islands. Those are powered by cold water from Antarctica and warm water from the Pacific. There must be some kind of battery where they store all the excess power. Just north of Liberty, there's a dam. Inside are flywheel capacitors. That's where the energy is stored. Sounds like you built this power grid to be rock solid. I guess it's gonna be impossible to turn the lights off. Sorry, I built this place to last. That's the scary thing about this World 2.0 you built. It can't be rebooted. What kind of air traffic do you get on the island? Before the perimeter of drones made leaving the island impossible, the only people flying in or out were investors or vacationers. To be honest, we've never had much air traffic. Why do you ask? I saw an airport earlier. We might be able to land a bird in there. To evacuate people? Or explore. I'm just spitballing here. The Aroa Airport near Infinity has the big runway, but that's where all the international flights come in. Any smaller airstrips? Somewhere that could land helos. Try Liberty Airport. We use it for internal jumper flights. If you're snooping around there, just be careful. Sentinel uses both of them, so they're crawling with security. What's with the fancy net there on Erewhon's crater? Well, it's hardly a net, but yes, it is fancy. It's bleeding-edge, multi-layered camouflage equipment that blocks visibility with surrounding environmental patterns. More importantly, it fools the drones. It's how I keep Erewhon hidden and virtually impossible to find. So it works the way a chameleon would, blending into the background. A little more advanced, but yes. The fabric uses a signature management system that disrupts thermal patterns, infrared wavelengths, and radio emissions so drones can't run their recognition algorithms. It won't fool the human eye. I mean, if somebody was looking at a drone feed, they might notice something weird, but... Nobody can check thousands of hours of video feed on Aroa. Right. It makes hiding things from drones pretty easy. They can't respond to what they don't see. It was developed by Skeltech. Luckily, I just so happen to know how to hijack it. Now Erewhon can remain safe for at least a little while. I like your style, Jericho. I'll see you around. Sure, I'll be seeing you. You heard from Samuel? Not since last week. I'm sure everything... Greetings. Don't be afraid. Couldn't help but over here. There's some kind of problem? We're not sure. 
Our friend Samuel's missing. A homesteader? Yeah, he used to be. Before he decided he'd rather live by himself. No great loss, if you ask me. He likes catching his own food. Says it keeps him closer to nature, or something like that. And then he gives the furs and leftover meat to the camp. Never takes anything in return. I don't get it. Sounds like he knows how to take care of himself. Last week, he was down here hollering about running into a bunch of sentinels on his land. They said they carried away a couple of deer he caught, smashed up his traps, and then... This week? Nothing. Samuel's always had a temper, but in this place, these days, you say the wrong thing to the wrong person. Well, you know. Yeah, I know. Hey, where are his usual stomping grounds? He's typically around to the southeast of Garden Mangrove, northeastern part of Gairon. I'll see if I can find him. Thanks. Really appreciate it. Goodbye. Who are you? The name's Samuel. You with the homesteaders? Not exactly, but we're friendly. What are you doing out here? Hunting, mostly. Providing meat for the camp? People need things. You know, for a killer, you, you can't sneak for shit. I'd have had you strung up from one of these trees in ten seconds if I'd half a mind to. Must have put on the wrong boots this morning. Listen, I hear you've been having a sentinel problem. You heard right. I need to get these traps set. But if we set off one of their alarms, well, we're dead and there ain't no coming back from that. If you can take them out, nice and quiet-like, and I can set my traps. Meet you up by my cabin when we're finished. It's in sinking country. South of Mossy Pond, west of Howard Port. Sound good? Sure does.
The R&D center's pretty broke down from that bomb. It has to be the outcast. Who else could it be? The R&D center's pretty messed up. Whoever bombed it did some damage. And the outcasts are getting bold.
Get down! Shit, this guy's crazier than a dog in a hubcap factory. They put up a fight. I'll give them that. They tried. Thank you. How about I'll clean up here? You head on up to my shed. As a fellow hunter, I think you'll be impressed with my collection. All my traps are all homemade by yours truly. <laughs> it's a type of quality craftsmanship a man like you would admire. Oh, well, thank you, Samuel. I'd be honored to see your collection.
focused. Kill anything that moves. <laughs> oh shit! Grenade! God damn. Of course. You had to be some sort of maniac, didn't you? <laughs> 